Vindictus hauls in a new 4-on-4 draft style PvP mode, Gameforge is ready to dish out monthly updates for Terra, Rocket League teams up with X Games on a new collaboration, and come on Fortnite, at least buy me dinner first before taking all my money for skins. What's good everyone, James Blonde here with your weekly recap for gaming news and announcements for the week of January 22nd, 2021. And starting out the news this week, I was wondering, has there ever been a time where a skin made you want to play a game that you normally wouldn't? Well, that was my reaction this week when I saw that Predator had joined Fortnite. That's right, the Chapter 2 Season 5 Battle Pass in the popular Battle Royale has added an outfit so that you can dress up like Predator along with a few other Predator-themed items, of course. Not only that, but one day later, they revealed another one of my favorite characters of all time, the T-800, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101, the Terminator. Literally my favorite two characters of all time on any form of media. Honestly, I haven't played much Fortnite aside from the early days, but this is the closest I've ever been to picking up the game again, that's for sure. Their artwork is killer for these two characters. Well done. Now that that's out of the way, more Battle Royale news. Respawn Entertainment is wondering if you're ready to cause some mayhem, as they've just revealed new info about Apex Legends' upcoming Season 8. The new legend in this upcoming season is Fuse, whose method is all about blowing stuff up without a plan. The season will also bring in the 3030 Repeater, a reshaped King's Canyon, and of course, a new Battle Pass. The new season is scheduled to launch on February 2nd, and I'm sure we'll have even more details to share with you then. Gameforge is promising monthly updates for Terra after recently taking over its publishing, and this week it's launched its first monthly update, Patch 102. This update opens a few new dungeons, the Catalepticon, Ruinous Manor, and Gossamer Vault, while a few older dungeons have closed their doors. Players can collect the new Kaya's Soul Gear, which can be snagged by upgrading the Kaya's Wisdom or Kaya's Fury set. The update also includes reworked battle rewards, improved leveling from 65 to 70, and many other quality of life changes meant to help get Terra on the right start for 2021. And speaking of the new year, World of Warships has rolled out its latest update, focusing on commander skills and the Lunar New Year events. This year's Lunar New Year event includes combat missions, daily shipments, themed ships, commanders, and themed containers. New patches and flags join the ways you can celebrate, along with an update to the look of the Dragon Port. The update also has adjusted skills for commanders, making skills more specialized for each type of ship, adding more total skill points, and a new skill recommendation system. In other news, Nexon is definitely keeping Vindictus alive with a new patch this week that includes the Magmel Arena. This PvP mode is a 4v4 draft style mode in which each team can select from a roster of 16 randomly selected champions before entering. The battlefield has two lanes and grants points for enemy champions based on their tier. The first team to 30 points wins. The update also includes new bonding levels for Kyle and more, so check out the full patch notes linked in the description. Meanwhile, Destiny 2 rolled out a small update this past week that included a new Harbinger activity, allowing players to earn catalysts and random rolls to help fine-tune their Hawkmoon weapon. Alongside this, Bungie stated in a blog post that they intend to make the seasonal content stick around longer, so there's less fear of missing out, and that Umbral Ingrams and the Prismatic Recaster will be returning permanently. Sounds like there's some serious commitment to keeping the game's quality of life high this year. Rocket League is teaming up with the X Games this weekend as they launch a new collaboration. New items will be in the shop from January 21st to the 24th and from January 28th through the 31st. Both weekends will also have two free banners to claim, the X Skis player banner and the X Board player banner. Not only that, but Rocket League Esports will be an official X Games event this year. Pretty nuts. Make sure to log in to claim your loot and tune in to watch the games. As we wind down for the weekend, I just want to give a heads up that Ghost Recon Breakpoint is actually hosting a free weekend on PC, running until January 24th. You can play the game and even take part in the ongoing 10-day event, Operation Amber Sky. Keep in mind, it's going to be a big download, so if you want in, get that download going ASAP. And finally, let's check in on the Epic Games Store to see that the free game of this week is Galactic Civilizations 3. This is a 4X style strategy game from Stardock that originally released in 2015. 
And just note that the free version available this week does not include any of the mini DLCs or expansions, but it's still a nice one to grab for the price of free. But with that said, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. Be sure to stay safe and keep your families healthy. Like always, you can find more information on the news topics linked in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, wash your hands a bunch, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.